Builders and home buyers are hitting the roof over the sky high price of lumber. We are turning to Debbie Bloyd, CEO of DLB Mortgage, for a first hand view of the situation. Hello to you, Debbie. Reports say new home costs are up by $36,000 more due to the epic shortage in lumber getting to the housing market. What can you tell us? Yeah, the lumber prices are a problem, um, and it's two different problems, maybe three problems altogether. Um, the first problem is uh, the wildfires that were out on the West Coast that really did a lot with our milling of lumber last year. And that's kind of one of the parts of the puzzle of why we're behind this year. The second part is basically supply and demand, just basic economics. So you've got more builders needing more lumber, more of these big production builders. So you have them all across the country, big David Weekly, Polte, whoever, um, needing much, much, much more lumber than they've ever needed before. And um, and then you've got the production companies that kind of got behind with COVID. So anybody that were on the line that came down with COVID that got sick, they would shut the plant down and disinfect it for two weeks. And so at the beginning of COVID last year, that really got them behind. So we're behind, we're short of lumber, and we need more of what we don't have. <laughs> That's the problem. What's your advice to home buyers? Well, what we see is a lot of people are bidding on houses and being pretty unrealistic for the market that they're in. Not I'm here in Dallas. Not everybody's in Dallas. Not everybody's in a big city. It seems like all of California, the East Coast wants to move here. So we are really looking for new homes because all the existing homes have price wars. The problem with that is everybody shifted to look at new homes and they're 20 or 30 in line at these production builders because they have quit taking orders. They're out of lumber, they're out of workers, they're out of land. So it's kind of a standstill. We got to be creative and we also have to be very realistic. Uh, you're going to have to pay more for a house right now. So if you don't like the prices that are being offered, you probably need to look for, uh, for sale by owners that might um, sell to you and not have as much competition. You also might want to look at buying the property that you're renting. I can't tell you how many of our buyers uh, today in the mortgage business, they've just decided to buy the house that they're renting in and forget about looking for something new. Thank you for your insights, Debbie. Definitely a story we will be following. Thanks so much for having me. This is First AM. Check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.